Hey guys, welcome back to World of Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW 3 and 4 series, guys, and you're trying to find and see where the AC compressor is located on your car because you need to remove and replace it, stay with us, guys, and we'll explain that today. Quick introduction, guys. Every single car we get at the shop, including this one here, we make more than 200 videos, guys. And specifically on BMW 3 and 4 series, we'll probably have close to 3 400 videos. We take them completely apart and we show you how to fix pretty much anything. Why? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to our channel, guys, and like the video. Hopefully, you will find the information helpful. Now, if you guys need to buy a new compressor, replacement parts, tools for your BMW, we will guys have the links in the description of the video below for your convenience. So please check it out, guys, and you can see where we get everything from. So this is a 2013 BMW 328i that we will show you, but uh, we'll, we'll show you on, but actually uh, many, many models use uh, that design, 320, 328, 420, 428, it might actually work on, uh, on other ones, 316, 318, the location might be very close, guys, as well. So, now, let me, before we start, uh, guys, we have the whole video for replacing the AC compressor on our main channel, Auto Repair, guys. Some of you will probably have seen it, it's on Auto Repair, guys, that's our main channel. Uh, most of the mechanical work is done there some of you probably know okay or want to try to do it without watching the video how to do it and uh, are wondering exactly where the compressor is or make sure that the wires is plugged in so sometimes uh, this is the reason why the ac doesn't work we'll show you that today but if you want to see the replacement videos on how to repair guys and if you have that uh, n20 uh, engine that's been used in the 320 420 328 and 428 this is the timing chain that failed at 87,000 miles and we have the complete video which is extremely long guys and detailed video how to remove and replace timing chain on that engine so please check it out guys now with the hood being open guys check it out this is your engine you need to locate guys your serpentine belt which is on the front of the engine never stick your fingers or anything like that if the car is running okay i recommend to work only on cold vehicle uh, this is the belt this is alternator down there guys this is your ac compressor that wire right here this is for the ac clutch guys okay no the one on the bottom is for the ac clutch right there check it out that one there okay is for the ac clutch so make sure that this wire is actually guys connected everything's good there because if that wire is not plugged in okay your ac may not work guys and now uh, never ever guys disconnect the uh, ac compressor without having your ac system completely pumped out vacuumed because the ac system is under enormous amount of pressure it has free on guys that if you remove the hose it's going to leak out it will spray in your eyes it's dangerous for you and it can blind you so you have to be extremely careful take it to a shop to have the system vacuumed down okay before removing and replacing the ac compressor if you guys need to buy a new one we'll have the link in the description of the video below and see where we get our parts from hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time